What is going on, Stallions? I've talked to you guys in the past about online security, running things like VPNs, using things like antivirus and anti-malware programs. I've never actually talked about home security. This is a very, very important topic, specifically for my viewership, as we probably have more money invested in electronics goods than we would like to admit to ourselves. For me personally, other than just the monetary value of all the electronic gadgets I have around my house and whatnot, I have a ton of priceless discontinued collectible controllers and retro consoles that simply cannot be replaced. Not to mention I love my dog very much, and while I am gonna mention she is part of my home security system, I don't want her potentially getting hurt or getting into an engagement with somebody in my house. This is going to be a pretty comprehensive video or an episode, if you will. There are going to be chapters in the timeline where you can jump around to just interior cameras, just exterior cameras, just outdoor lighting, just base stations. Although I do strongly recommend that you watch the entire video. That's not for me to get my view minutes up or anything like that. Trust me, we're not struggling over here at Gamer Heaven. That is because it is incredibly important information. This is probably one of the most important videos I have ever made on this channel. Cause there's no use in having all these awesome tech gadgets and gaming gear if it gets stolen while you're at work or school. Or God forbid somebody breaks in while you're asleep, you don't have an alarm system to wake you up, your dog's in a deep slumber, she doesn't bark, and before you know it, somebody's having their way with you or doing something weird. Welcome to the Gamer Heaven. If you're new around here, this is where we do our unboxings, PC builds, and a whole lot of other fun stuff. But today, the topic isn't necessarily fun, but it is incredibly important. Now, I want to get this out of the way right up front. This is not a sponsored video. I did purchase all of these items myself, with the exception of the solar outdoor floodlights. This was sent out to me by an awesome company that wanted to support the channel. However, as with all the product reviews I do on this channel, it is an honest product review, and they literally just want me to give them feedback on their product. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. So I'm going to give you a real quick rundown on my home security system. These are pieces of a equipment that I have had for six years and three houses now. The first thing that I strongly recommend you getting is some kind of a base. It is an alarm system that connects with your Wi-Fi network. It works via wall power or also if there's a power outage, it will also have a standby battery on board. I personally like Ring. It is all personal preference, but I've been using Ring for about six years now. I had their paid program for a while. Then I was on the free program for about two years. Now I'm back on their paid monthly subscription service because it is monitored. And that way, not only do I monitor my interior and exterior cameras for my phone, but also there is that extra layer of protection knowing that if I can't get to my house or I don't get the notification on my phone because it's dead or I'm away from it, that somebody is going to call the cops or the fire department or attend to whatever emergency I'm having on the home front. I have spent way too much time and energy to lose anything in the gamer heaven or God forbid the house itself. This four walls and a roof mean quite a bit to me. I recommend just getting the starter kit. You can piecemeal buy everything bit by bit. However, it is cheaper just to go ahead and get the, just to get the ring starter pack. They do have a newer generation that has basically all smaller components. So the sensors that go on the doors and windows are smaller. The keypad is smaller. This is the first gen over here. And I bought it refurbished on Amazon to save a little bit of money. And again, I've had this one for six years now. You have this keypad, which I have a little dock for it by the front door. Basically you hit a four digit code and then you hit arm that you are either inside the house and armed, so that way it won't monitor the inside cameras because it knows you and your dog and family are moving around, or that you are completely away, so that way it does know to monitor the interior as well. Battery life on this thing is in insanely good, like well over a month. And I activate and deactivate this thing every night and battery life is well over a month, which is pretty awesome. And with that starter pack, you are also getting two sensors. So basically you, your front door and your back door, but you are gonna wanna get an expansion on that. I use, I got the Ring second generation six pack. So basically, uh, I think I even bought two. Yeah, I bought two of them, two six packs. Every single window and exterior door to my house does have one of these sensors on it. Not to mention if somebody breaks in, it really doesn't matter if they try tampering with it anyway, because well, your alarm is already sounding for one. And two, if somebody tries to tamper with these before they actually go off, there is a tamper seal on board here. You will get a notification on your phone telling you that the device front door, device garage door or bedroom window has been tampered with. Um, it, it, you know, even if it's not going off, it'll t still tell you that somebody remove the tray here and is trying to mess with the battery or whatever. So that is awesome. These can mount with screws, but me personally, I just peel off this back here and they are double-sided tape and you are able to stick this on. And then the other end has a magnet. When that magnet's broken, 
that is what activates the alarm. And again, even if you don't pay for the, uh, even if you don't pay for the subscription service that is monitored and connected with the police department and fire department, you still get notifications on your phone every single time a door is opened, every time a carbon monoxide sensor goes off, fire alarm goes off in your house, you will get notified of that. Granted, you can't really do much about it if you're an hour and a half away from your house and your house is on fire or something. You can call the fire department yourself, but it's just nice to know that if you do pay for the subscription service, that it is also monitored to where there's literally somebody sitting in the control center that will be like, oh, well, his house is on fire. Let's take care of it. In addition to the door and window sensors, which are an absolute staple, you, you should definitely do that because it's great having two of them, especially if you only have, you know, a front and a back door, but I'm assuming you have windows there and God knows what entrance a burglar is going to choose. The next one I recommend is motion sensors like this. These kind of work as a double doozy, I would say, because not only are they a great security device, but also a good convenience factor. These integrate with all of my smart home devices. So I have this set up with my lights. So when I walk into a room, um, a lot of the rooms in my house, I don't have to hit the light switch. They are on some kind of a motion sensor. So these are great for that. Next up would be exterior cameras. So. At bare minimum, I strongly recommend getting the Ring doorbell. Again, there are other companies out there. I don't have an affinity or affiliation with Ring whatsoever, but I will say I've used them for a long time. This is actually my second Ring doorbell. I left the other one installed on my house when I sold it. That actually increased the value of my house because, well, you know, Ring doorbell, good stuff. But these things are absolutely awesome. Resolution's really high, and at night, it actually has a night vision mode that looks pretty damn good. You can clearly make out faces and whatnot, and it is a two-way intercom. So I have literally been in the shower before and had a UPS driver need a signature because it was like a valuable item they were dropping off. I'm Kevin, I'm the owner, blah, blah, blah. And he dropped my package and uh, moved on. So you have a two-way intercom. You can communicate with whoever, whoever's out there. It is 1080p HD, so not 4K or 1440, but 1080p looks plenty good on this thing. Battery time, again, freaking crazy on these, like well over a month. And of course, since it is meant to be outdoors, it is completely weather safe, water sealed, all that stuff, which is very important here in Florida because we get tremendous downpours every four to six minutes. And it runs on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So even an older router or modem will obviously have the baseline of 2.4 gigahertz. So that's important. Basically all the devices that I'm showing you here today do integrate in some way with a smart home hub, whether you have a Google assistant or you have Amazon Alexa devices. Wow. She actually didn't start listening to me. That's awesome. That's an echo spot back there behind me. So exterior cameras, I would recommend at least having the doorbell. It is super convenient because not only does it replace your ugly doorbell with a nice sleek, modern looking one, they do also come with extra face plates. Uh, they come with a brushed silver and then a darker gunmetal gray one. Next for indoor lights, I have this wise cam here, which I got two Amazon Prime days ago, so two years ago. Uh, this came bundled with, I wanna say, one of the Amazon Alexa devices, which is pretty awesome. So this thing's cool, it has a little swivel leg that pops out, or if you just wanna have it flush, it does that. This is 1080p, also has a night vision mode. This one is not weather sealed or proof, so again, this is meant strictly for indoor. Battery life on this one is also very good, and basically I have uh, this one looking over my living room. Obviously I don't indoor cam my bedrooms or bathrooms because that's an invasion of privacy and creepy, and I like to keep my creepiness to a bare minimum. So I do have this in the living room though, up by one of my fake plants, basically looking down. I do have like really tall vaulted ceilings. So uh, even if you knew where this camera was and you broke into my house, you'd have to get a ladder, you know, knock this thing down. By then I've already seen your face. Even if you have a mask, my dog's probably ripped it off by then. Next up would be an alarm. So the base station, so the touchpad for this ring uh, does have a really loud speaker on board, but also the base station has a freakishly loud alarm. But Maybe that's not enough coverage for you. Maybe you're in a two-story house or a large home, or you just want it blaring loud if somebody breaks in. So I have this, this is from AOTech. This is a Siren Generation 5. This thing was like 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon. Again, I've had this for like six years. It has three very bright LEDs that flash in a strobe pattern. And then a very loud siren goes off. It's quite disorienting. And then also uh, I would recommend outdoor lighting. This is incredibly important because criminals that are trying to do some nefarious stuff, whether that's either burglarize your home or break in for something a little bit more personal, maybe you've made some enemies or something like that. Criminals like to do stuff in the dark. They're inherently night lurkers. So when a bright spotlight pops on in their face, it disorients them. And not to mention all your neighbors in the neighborhood are like looking over at your house. It draws a ton of attention to them. And 90% of the time, we've seen this footage on ring doorbells. We've seen this footage on security surveillance cameras. Burglars see lights pop on, they dip out. Another one that is very, very 
uh, basically free if you already buy one of these ring products. You get some stickers. Uh, you get some two-way stickers, basically. You put those on the inside of your windows. And, and then I also have one on the, I have uh, like French doors going out to my backyard. I have one of those on the back too. So if a burglar's casing my house or scoping it out from the backyard, hey, they're greeted with a nice little sign letting them know. And Ring also sells another really cool solar powered light up sign that you stick in your yard. That one is not free. I believe it's like 30 or 40 bucks, but that's also a nice little deterrent too. Just the more layers of home security you can have, it's an, it's an onion basically, and you peel back these layers, the onion of home security is stinky and it's gonna make the burglars cry when they they slice into it. So then I do recommend having a uh, medium to large size dog, even a small yappy dog. Sometimes that little, that little chipmunk barking at them is enough. Dogs, I mean, they, they make great companions. They're also really good for home security. I have a German Shepherd. She is a princess and a sweetheart, but I guarantee you she could probably mess somebody up. Like I mentioned, more important than all these products here is having a dedicated attack dog. There she is doing her job. Is she alive? Oh yeah, she's alive. Well, she actually joined me right here for the video. That's always nice. She's kind of my co-host around here. The next one would be arming yourself. Now, maybe you are anti-firearm. Maybe you're against owning a gun. Now, I do think everyone should own at least one firearm for home protection because, well, burglars, robbers, rapers, and murderers have absolutely no issue carrying firearms. So, so why should honest law-abiding citizens? Now, I'm not gonna go over my full arsenal or anything like that, but I have been in the military for almost 10 years and I am an avid gun fan and hobbyist. So obviously I have a few firearms. Would recommend having at least one handgun in the nightstand. Now, if you do have children, definitely take that into account or consideration. You want a good safe for it. But when I say good safe, I don't necessarily mean one that takes you 45 seconds to get into. That's a little too long. Probably three to five seconds would be great. So they have ones that are thumbprint scanning and it literally just pops open. That's great. Or they have ones that do other biometrics like iris scans and stuff like that. They're a little pricey, but me personally, I don't have any children nor do I plan to. So that is fantastic because I can stash guns throughout my house in all kinds of places. Like, hey, there might be one magnetized under this desk right now. I don't know. So this is all ring right here. This is Wise, W-Y-Z-E. This is AOTech Siren Gen 5, and this is Onford. It's rated at 550 lumens. It is a multi-light set. It is solar paneled. I do recommend going solar paneled for a couple of reasons. One, you don't have to mess with batteries at all. Two, they make installation an absolute breeze. Random high spot outside your house where you have to find how to actually wire it, which is a huge pain in the ass. Even if you are into home improvement and projects like this, it is not a fun project. Trust me, I did it on my last house. Not worth it. Uh, something solar powered like this, awesome. Saves a ton of money in disposable batteries or if it's rechargeable, you don't have to recharge it and you just know it's gonna work. It is of course weatherproof as all these outdoor lights are and it is freakishly bright. It is rated at 550 lumens. I think they might be undercutting themselves a little bit. These suckers are pretty bright. And they do fully swivel too, which is absolutely awesome. The motion sensor has a range of about 33 feet. That is in the pitch black of night, which is freaking awesome. The solar panel swivels as well and mounting them is freakishly easy. And these do turn off after 30 seconds, which is also great because I had I had outdoor floodlights before that didn't turn off for about 20 minutes or so. And your neighbors hate you because you know your dog sets them off. Then instead of them going off in 30 seconds when the dog comes back in the house or whatever, they're blaring a thousand lumens into their back window for like 30 minutes. Yeah, the HOA got many a, many a complaint about those. But yeah, these are awesome. Basically what you get is the four lights, the mounting hardware for each, an instruction manual. As you see, there's two laid out here, but they're virtually identical. And then you get the mounting brackets. Basically, the mounting bracket just slides in there on the tracks like that. And then you have three screws that hold it into your wall. So if you have a brick home, obviously it's gonna be a little bit difficult to drill into, but they sell screws specifically for that. Um, I have vinyl siding on my house, which is kind of a pain in the butt as well. These are also 6,000 Kelvin, which is a very, very bright blue light. So not a warm, rich vanilla light. You're not setting the mood for a YouTube video. You're trying to illuminate absolutely everything. So you want a bright white light that's on the right side of the Kelvin scale. And that's what this is. And according to this product page right in front of me, they are IP66 waterproof as well, which they're outdoor lights. You'd expect that. The next thing I want to quickly touch on is I would recommend integrating all this with some kind of a smart home hub. It makes your life a whole hell of a lot easier when you can literally say Schmexa or Google 
lock the doors and you have, again, there are smart locks that literally are a bolt lock that will lock itself. So you never have to worry about, ooh, did I lock the door? Because you can just do it from your phone no matter where you are out in town. Not to mention somebody tampers with it, you get a notification. Plus I prefer to have everything integrated in a smart home hub. So my security system, that just makes sense to be integrated with that loop as well. But every night before bed, if I don't have the touchpad in my bed because it's on its old dock, it's cradled by the front door, I can just say, Alexa, arm the front door. Also, I forgot to mention that this control pad here does also have a motion sensor, which works in a couple aspects. When you walk up to it, it will illuminate. If your room is dark, it'll light up the touchpad for you. And also, well, it can work as another motion sensor in your house. This also works with Zigbee, Z-Way, Schmeshmexa, Google Assistant, basically every hub out there. Well, I'd love to keep talking to you guys about home security because it is a topic I'm very passionate about. The attention span of people on the internet is practically non-existent, and this video is already running pretty long. So I'm basically going to treat this like episode one, basically going over everything that you need to get in order to build out your smart home security. And then I will go more in depth with product reviews and also installation videos, walking you through how to install a ring doorbell, how to install your outdoor security lights, how to set up extra door and window sensors, and basically how to integrate all that with... Um, Shmishmexa devices or Google Assistant. That is very easy. You just launch the application on your phone. It'll scan for new devices. Hopefully this video was beneficial for you guys, honestly, because this is a very important topic. And these are all products that I literally have owned for several years and definitely stand behind, which says a lot because, well, this is my safety. This is my dog's safety. I am divorced as of about a year ago. However, I did have a family living with me and I trusted basically all of our lives and our safety in the products that I have mentioned here. So obviously, so obviously I don't think they're going to fail on you randomly or anything like that. And and I also really do like the convenience of how they integrate with your phone and with your voice assistant as well. So pretty cool stuff. If you guys did enjoy the video and got value from it, liking it will help it to get seen by more people so this video can reach and assist them as well. And that also helps me to grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content just like this. I cover a lot of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest product reviews. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.